Siegfried Kurt here, going to be talking to you guys about No Man's Sky and reasons why I think it's probably not going to work out, or reasons why it's just not going to be any good. Me, myself, I think this game's actually going to be great, it's probably going to be awesome, but here's just some reasons I haven't heard from people who's been talking about it and who hasn't said anything about it, you know, uh, why it's not going to be any good. I've heard reasons, They're, these are just some reasons I think might be a bit more pressing, uh, like amount of lag, or like, uh, whenever a uh, game has a lot of things in it, like, say, Rainbow Six Siege has a lot of moving parts, or like GTA, these are both games I have right on my desk here, uh, they have a lot of moving parts, like in Rainbow Six Siege, they have a lot of these uh, little particle effects, a bunch of these little noises in the background, and similar to GTA, where it has a bunch of cars moving all at once, a lot of uh, vehicles, but this is a universe simulator. So imagine that, these two small worlds, even the Rainbow Six Siege, there's such a small world lag for me all the time. Not just because of my internet, it happens to all my friends, everything. It could just be um, server crash or something like that. But imagine something like in Rainbow Six Siege or GTA, or say Minecraft, even Minecraft crashes every once in a while, but it hasn't really done that too much for me since it's so simple. But this game has a lot of things loading in, like creatures like that uh, big... Uh, I don't know what they call it, a dinosaur on this thing. I guess it's technically not a dinosaur. I guess it could be a dinosaur and goat things right there on the screen, or they're even spaceships uh, flying around. That's a lot of things loaded at once. And obviously, nothing's going to be, not everything's going to be perfect. I mean, I bet you're going to, a lot of people are going to find like a bunch of uh, messed up AI in the first day or first week or month of the game, or even for the entire uh, game's release. For me, for the entire game's history, they might find these some glitches or bugs. But even that, even if their uh, AI isn't any good, even if that, I would still love this game. But if every, every moving part makes the game glitch and lag and all this kind of stuff happening happening to me all at the same time, it's not going to be that fun if every couple steps I get put back five more steps. Every three steps I get put five more. It's not going to be any fun. If that keeps on happening to me, like in Rainbow Six Siege, that happens a lot. Or in GTA, I get randomly lagged out of a session. Or in this game, I guess I would have to be lagged back into the home screen, if there is a home screen. If I don't just boot up the game, I'm just automatically where I was left off at. <sighs> and then there is the uh, loading times. And yeah, there, I get I get there's no loading times between uh, planet to planet. But there's obviously going to be a loading time between... You start up the game, you go into the menu screen, and you're booting up the world. There's not going to be much in between you going to the loading screen and you entering the game. But there's going to be a lot from you uh, entering the game to the loading screen. Or every time you die as well. They have loading times for that too. So you're loading back into your uh, some random place that you were just at. Say if you die in space, I think, I think I've heard them talk about if you die in space, you either go into the nearest, uh, little, last time you were on a planet, there's like little save spots, and every time that you're in space and you die, you go to a nearest space station. I'm not sure which one happens depending on the amount of time, there's, there's probably an entire algorithm I gotta figure out for that, but, yeah, so yeah, go into space, you fly away, for our far away from any uh, known location, and then you die, but then you gotta load, then my fear is, I'm, I might be loading them there longer than a Skyrim loading screen, or a Oblivion loading screen, or a Fallout loading screen, or any Bethesda loading screen. So if that happens to me, I, I'm, that's not gonna be enjoyable, I would probably just like that experience, I would have a bad time, and uh, overall, I probably would just lose interest in the game. So yeah, here's a, these are just a few uh, points I'm making about No Man's Sky. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and have a good one. Bye.